What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, smash that like button for me. I really would appreciate it. Also, hit that post notification bell for me so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Be careful down in the comment section of the videos. A lot of spam, a lot of scammers. I will never ask you to contact me by WhatsApp or Telegram. I also do not accept money from my subscribers to invest for them. I do not offer an investment program. Please be careful. Don't get yourself scammed. If you want up to 12 free stocks, Weeble is going to give you up to 12 free stocks. When you open a new Weeble brokerage account, put at least one penny in that account. They're going to give you up to 12 free stocks. So if you're interested in that offer, there is a Weeble link down in the description box of the video. Click on that Weeble link, open up your new account today, go get that free stock, go get that free money. Guys, I made a big mistake. I should have sold my house in January of 2022, but I didn't do it. And now my house is worth $100,000 less today than in January of 2022. Yeah, big mistake on my part. But you know, many other folks have seen the same decline in their home value over the last eight months. And that's because of two things. Mortgage rates increasing and consumer demand for new homes slowing down. Those are your two main reasons, right? See, home affordability also ties in that too. What affects home affordability? Mortgage rates, home prices. See, back in 2020, when the pandemic broke out, we had this mad rush in new home sales, right? We, we, we got this huge wave of demand but we didn't have enough supply, which increased home prices. I like to call that the pandemic housing boom between 2020 and 2022. We saw home prices go up by 43%. Since I'm a homeowner, I experienced my home going up 43% in value in two years. And that was because of that mad rush of demand that was created by the pandemic, right? People making a mad exodus out of the large metro cities, moving to the suburbs because why? They could work from home. They didn't have to be in the office anymore because of the pandemic, that increased demand. Another thing, like I said, that increased demand was mortgage rates. Remember, mortgage rates were 3% or less during this pandemic housing boom. What did that do for people? They were able to buy more home, right? Because of those interest rates being so low. So that contributed to home prices skyrocketing as well. Fast forward two years later, now we're starting to see just the opposite. Mortgage rates, 6%. They go from being 3% just a year ago to now 6%. What does that do? That decreases home affordability. That decreases consumer demand. Why? Because anytime a person is trying to get a mortgage and they're looking at a $400,000 house and they can get a 3% fixed 30-year mortgage, their payment is going to be lower 
than if they got a 6% fixed mortgage on that same $400,000 house. Payment difference is about $500 a month, guys. So, so when interest rates going up, that decreases affordability, which hurts home prices, right? Also, I think another thing that's affecting home prices is more inventory is going to be coming on the market, right? More inventory is on the market. A lot of this construction that was started during 2020, 2021 is starting to come on the market in late 2022 and will be coming on the market even more in 2023. So now you see mortgage rates skyrocketing, which decreases affordability, plus you see more inventory coming on the market, which also does what? Decrease home prices. Why? Because people who are able to buy a new home have more to pick from. They can be more choosy. And when buyers are in the position to be more choosy, then that drives down home prices as well. So what am I going to do? Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and stay put, guys, because I bought my house in 2012, paid $395 for it. It's still worth about $750K. So I still got a ton of equity in the house. I'm going to wait to see what happens in 2023 because, see, I'm ready to move. So I don't mind, even if my house drops to 700 k and I got 395 in it, I still got a ton of equity. But I don't want to pay above market for a new house and then all of a sudden prices continue to drop and now I'm upside down in the new house. Even though I made money in the, in the existing house, I don't want to be upside down in the new house, right? So it's sort of like a catch-22. I, I can take the money now from my current home and then I go buy a new home. I made a lot of money on the old home, the current home, but I'm going to be upside down in the new home because prices are going to continue to come down in 2023, at least by 10%. So yeah, that's the catch 22 I'm in. And I know some of you guys might be in that same situation, but I'm just trying to give you an idea of what, in my opinion, what's causing this uh, decrease in home prices all of a sudden, because of, because three months ago, we, we didn't see this. Home prices in a lot of markets were still increasing just 90 days ago. But fast forward, current day, present day, that's changing. And we definitely see it here in Florida. Drop me some comments and let me know what you guys are seeing from uh, home prices in your area. Are they still increasing or have you seen them starting to decrease as well? Also for investors, guys, if you're looking for real estate for income, residential real estate for income, opportunity is coming. But, you, but, but I've, as I've said in other videos, you, you got to be ready to, to, to move and move quickly when that opportunity starts presenting itself. So you got to have some cash reserves, right? You're going to need to have decent credit and you're going to need to have verifiable income through your tax returns. That's the way you're going to be able to strike fast and quick when it comes to these rental property opportunities that I believe will be coming on the market. Because if you, because people out there who bought homes, whether it be for rental or whether it be for your primary residence, if they bought these homes during this pandemic housing boom, I think they, they overpaid. Once this correction sets in, some of these people are going to be upside down. Also, with inflation at 8.3%, and the Federal Reserve has already said they're going to do everything in their power to get inflation down. And what that means is they're going to continue increasing short-term interest rates. They're going to also force the labor market to soften. See, we got a strong labor market right now, but the Federal Reserve is going to force that labor market to soften. And what that means is there are going to be some people losing their jobs. If these people bought homes during 2020 and 2022, 
uh, during that pandemic housing boom, then if they lose their job and they, and they got these, 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 these high priced homes, some of these people may have to let those homes go back through foreclosure. I don't think we're gonna have the foreclosure level we had in 2008, but I think we will see a tick up in foreclosures. And that's where some of you folks will be able to pick up some good deals from a real estate for income standpoint, right? Maybe, maybe not, but I think there'll be some opportunity out there. Certainly not like the opportunity we had in 2008 when we had a complete collapse in the real estate market. We won't have that. There, there won't be anything like 2008. But we will see a softening in the real estate uh, in the housing market. We already see it, guys. I definitely see it here in Florida. So be prepared. Be on the lookout. If you're an investor looking to pick up some good rental properties, I think 2023, 2024, there are going to be some opportunities. And if you're, if you're someone like me who's looking to, to upgrade and buy a brand new home, maybe a new construction, then I think 2023, 2024, uh, it will be an opportunity as well to pick up a really nice new home because there'll be more inventory on the market. So that means prices will have to come down, right? Because with interest rates at 6%, that's going to lower affordability, right? So that's going to be less competition for you as a buyer because you're going to have less buyers. But if you are got your financial picture together and you still can afford to buy, at that 6% rate or a 5% rate, and then put money down, good credit, you're gonna be in a position, it'll be a buyer's market at that point, as opposed to a seller's market like it is today. It'll be a buyer's market, which buyers at that point will have the upper hand. That's what I believe in 2023 and 2024. If you want up to 12 free stocks, like I mentioned, click on that link down in the description box, open up your new account today, go get that free stock, go get that free money. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing, share the video, smash the like button, thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness, never stop believing in yourself. And I'm gonna catch you on the next video, peace. Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.